What's poppin' people? Welcome back to another video. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, also hit the like button. If you guys have been enjoying the content, check out some of the recent videos that we've been putting out the last few weeks. We got some cool content in some different areas, but today we're actually at Fletcher's place. Big shout out to Fletcher, he's not with us today, but we have his little boat right here. We're gonna be trying to catch some big bass. We actually had a big storm that was about to roll in and all of a sudden it just passed by. And the pressure's pretty low. I think the fish are gonna be biting really good. If you guys are wondering about the conditions, it's cloudy out. I mean, everywhere you look, there's clouds. Um, barely any sun peeking through. I think these bass are gonna be roaming really good today. And if we can get a moving bait in front of their face, I think they're gonna end up eating it. So we're gonna have a lot of fun. Got Cody behind the camera. It's gonna be a good time today, but let's go ahead and hop on the John boat, get out there, rig up some rods, hopefully lean into a really big one today. Time to rig up right here. We have a Texas rig. All right, one fourth ounce EWG. We're actually gonna cut it off. I think it'll catch him today. I think this is gonna be a bait that we'd probably need if the bite's a little tough, but let me tell you, with how this weather is right now, this pressure dropping, clouds in the sky, these bass are gonna be roaming. Tie on the old reliable red eye shad that we've just been smoking them on. This natural color has been getting the job done. We're gonna throw this around see how they're going to eat it hopefully they're going to smunch it and i actually have a crawl pattern lipless crankbait with us today as well so if they're not eating the natural color we'll switch up to the crawl pattern the red color and we'll go from there but i think we're going to start off with this just cover a lot of water see how the fish are going to act today and hopefully they're just going to munch and we don't need to slow down at all so guys we just got out here and the end of the lake that we put in on there's so much bait. I think we just picked the right spot. So what I'm gonna do is start fan casting out here. See if we can get one to commit to this lipless and then fish that bridge and work our way down the lake. One just came up right there. Yeah, there's fish in this pocket. We could probably start off with catching a few. We picked the right spot. Last time we came out, we went on the other end of the lake, but this bait moves and I think we're in the right area. I think we can catch one right here, right now. With this bait popping, dude. I just saw a fish come up and eat a bait fish a minute ago. Dude, I've never seen so much bait. I can't believe we haven't got a bite. I don't really see fish coming up for it though. It's mainly bait flicker. There's like so much activity though. This is insane. Let's switch up. Fishing should be really, it's just, we, once we find them, it's gonna be good. I was kinda trying to catch one real quick, you see. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is a giant. Oh my God. Over at least five pounds. This is a giant. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. She might be six. 
I can barely see her because of the ponds in the water, but this is a big fish on the Thunder Cricket. This is strong fish too. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's six pounder. That might be, yeah, has to be. It's either five or six. Come on, baby. Oh my God, it's a freaking toad. Don't spit it, please don't spit it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Cody, come on now. Last video we filmed, we start off with a dang like eight pounder and then we start this one off with a... That's a big fish. Cody came in clutch today for you guys. Scale. that's over five pounds bro has to be that's exactly why you throw that thunder cricket that chatter donk is because the freaking big ones bite it something about a chatter donk gets those big ones we were patient i didn't have a bite this whole time we've been fishing for what maybe 45 minutes yeah all of a sudden thump first fish is like a five pounder zero it out just getting official weight on this baby first fish today i can't believe that Mm-hmm. Six point mm -hmm. no five five, five five. Okay. Five pounds, five. five ounces. That's a big one though, dude. Come on now. Almost a five and a half pounder to start off the video. That's exactly what you want. That thunder cricket right there. You don't get many bites, but let me tell you, when you get bites, it gets you a toad like that. And this fish is long, but it's just so thick at the same time. And that what a way to start the video give me some brother give me some what a way right there let's get her back in the water we're keeping track today we have one fish we're gonna see what our best five weigh but that's a five and a half pound almost a five and a half pounder thick belly just overall beautiful bass let's get her back in we've been catching some toads recently i knew right when i hooked this baby right here it was a big one there she goes Wow, 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 wow. We have been starting off the videos recently with some big ones. That's just a good feeling. Right here, Cody. We gotta make it happen again. First fish, 5.5. Let's go for one that's over six. So this is the Thunder Cricket that I'm using. It's just a white and chartreuse chatter donk right here. Got one of those striking swim baits on the back. It's just a big profile. This is actually a three quarter, which is normally what I wouldn't throw, but I didn't have a half. I have one half with me, but this was already tied on. And uh, man, she thumped it. I'm telling you, these baits right here, these thunder crickets, any any type of chatter bait, they catch the toads. You guys know, like over the years, I've caught more big fish on a bait like this than anything. And we're just gonna see if we can put together over a 20 pound bag today. I think it's possible. I was very patient with that right there. I, I knew the bite was gonna come. I was praying it was gonna come and it happened, but I was reeling this thing super slow. Oh my god, it's another toad, it's another toad, it's another toad, it's another toad. Giant, oh my god, that's a freaking six pound, six plus, six plus. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, baby, you a big, dude, that's bigger than six. Please stay, dude, he's barely hooked. Oh, this is not good. All right, we just barely hooked, guys, but we need this fish. We're gonna have a massive bag today. Oh my god, it's so big. <laughs> what in the world? There's no way. I can't believe it. Cody's smiling behind the camera. I know I got him excited. I got you excited, don't I? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. How many casts after that? Maybe five? Yeah, maybe. We're on him now. Look at that. That's a six pounder. Look how big his head is, though. Oh, my God. What a toad. You guys better be thanking Cody. Hashtag thank you, Cody, in the comment section down below for bringing the scale because we're gonna actually tally up our bag today. We've had two bites that are over five. Are you kidding me? That thunder cricket getting the job done. Let's go ahead and get a weight on this girl, man. I'm ready to catch some more. That's insane. Terrify me. Her head is like a seven pounder, but she gets a little skinny down at the bottom. But that is just a mean looking fish. Zero it out. We got over 10 pounds of two fish. Let's go. Please be six. Oh, come on, baby. She's not going to do it. Five pounds, 11 ounces. 
five and three quarters right there. Just about. Look at that. We're going to tally it up. I need to put these in my phone. Five pounds, 11 ounces. We just caught a five, five. Let's go. I, I, what did I say? I said, now let's try to catch one over six. And of course she's just a little shy, but that is a toad right there. That's exactly why we go fishing every day. It's exactly why we get so excited when we get out on the water. Cause you never know when you're going to hook a giant like that. Let's get her back in. Man, that is amazing. Catch a five, five, and then the throw back in five cast later and catch a five eleven. That's a brute freaking brute. I just can't believe the first two fish were that big. Like we got 11 pounds. Exactly 11 pounds, actually. Exactly 11 pounds of two fish. So we have a 5.5, five, then we have a 5.11, 16 ounces and a pound. That puts us exactly at 11 pounds with two fish. Two fish, guys. If we catch another five pounder, that's gonna put us at 16 pounds with three fish. We are on the way to catching a a high, high, like mid 25 pound bag. I know we can do it right here. All right, we are getting eaten alive by gnats. Cody's gonna put some bug spray on. I'm just gonna fan cast right here. Watch us catch another one. Oh my God, dude, there's no way. Dude, I got another one. No, another. I can't believe this. What is going on? All right, he's not a five pounder, but it's a, it's a solid two. There we go. Third fish, next cast guys. This thunder cricket, look at it, right in the top of his mouth. Getting the job done. That is a solid two pounder. We're just gonna call him two, we're not gonna weigh him. Here we go, look at that thunder cricket right there. Right there in the top of his mouth. Two pounder. What do you say, Cody, two pounder? Yeah. We're gonna leave him at two, so we have 13 pounds of three fish. Pretty. He, he was eating it like a big one, dude, it scared me. Next cast, literally, these fish are, this is the thing, we fished for a while, we saw a lot of bait fish just didn't have any bites. All of a sudden we move spots. Boom, 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 boom. We're getting bites every cast. Oh man. I'm just like stoked. Those are, dude, those are some big. Oh my God, he knocked me sideways. Those are some big fish. Oh my gosh, dude, I'm sorry, I'm freaking out. God. Oh, that was like one of those bites that I'll remember for 10 plus years, that was stupid. That was a really big one. I made so many casts right here. Switch baits, threw the chatter donk up there like 10 times, switch to this, threw it up about five times. Finally had one bite it. Sad part is I stuck him. I don't think he's gonna bite again unless there's another one. I was really working slow, dude. I, I just had a feeling there was a fish right there. Mm. I just know how big that fish was. That was another really good one. I don't know if she was five, but I would say she was four plus. Oh my gosh, another one. Another one, giant. I haven't even seen him, but he feels huge. Oh, he's a three pounder. Dang, I thought it was another five. But hey, I can't complain with that. This is gonna put us at 16 pounds of four fish. Boom, right there, look at that. That's a solid fish right there. But look at his red lips. Oh, oh my gosh, it came right off too. That's a pretty fish. We might as well get a weight on her. I think she's... Now I'm looking at her. She's probably t high two, two and a half to two and three quarters, but we'll get a weight just to know what we have. It's our fourth fish today. We haven't had any non keepers, any like small ones. So, oh my gosh, he's close. Two pounds, 13 ounces. She went to 214 and then 
went off. So two and three quarters, that was about what I was thinking, high, high two pounder. That's a nice fish right there. About 16 pounds with four fish. So all we need is a four pounder, we have a 20 pound bag. It's a pretty one right there. She felt so big though, oh my gosh. I thought that was another five, six pounder, but let's get back in there. There should be one right here somewhere. That little, oh my God, that was insane. That's another three pounder. That, that I didn't think he was that big, or it might be a high two. Look at the head on this sucker. Nice, weirdest bite in the world, but look how he ate it. Look at that choked, choked. I mean, you cannot beat that. Catching him on a chatter donk, I just gotta love it. I was not expecting, he bit it almost at the boat right there. That was weird. I was almost thinking this shady, little shady, spot up on the bank was going to hold the fish next thing you know this thing's biting me i'm like wow some good fishing today i haven't seen the fishing conditions been as good as they are today in a while that's a good fish that's probably about the same size as the last if not that might be probably high high too i'm not even gonna weigh him but it's a nice fish had a big head on him small body but there might be another fish here we're just gonna have to keep casting it's crazy guys when you're fishing just keep in mind like where there's one fish there could be multiple and if you if you have that open mindset like that when you find them stacked up i mean you can just catch so many fish but the biggest key to today has been keeping this chatterbait bumping off the cover which i've been fishing a lot of laydowns i've been letting this thing tick off the laydown so i feel it hitting it keeping contact with that not only that but i'm reeling this thing so slow and i think that's the key to getting these bites if i was reeling it really fast i don't think we'd be catching the fish that we're catching but that slow retrieve has really triggered these fish to bite. That was weird. <laughs> I've never like hook set to catch the, that was very weird. Dude, just loaded up on that thing. It just randomly stopped vibrating. Next thing you know, there's a fish on there, and that is a skinny little bass. It's so crazy because normally you wouldn't catch small ones on the chatter donk, but today we've got a few little squeakers. That guy is so skinny. I need to eat him a few double cheeseburgers. I gotta throw this, and then I'll catch it. Jerk the uh oh that's a big one i think oh it's a decent one whoa look at that guys right there there's a bunch of bait popping at the mouth of this pocket and throwing that chatter donk for a while and i knew exactly what to throw pick up that lipless sure enough first cast this fish hammers it but guys, I think that's going to end off today's video. If you guys enjoyed this one, be sure to hit that like button. Let me know what videos you guys want to see in the comment section down below. Caught almost 20 pounds today, which was a phenomenal day. We had that 5.5 five, and then a the 5.11, which was the big bass. Sadly, sadly, we didn't get anything over that, but caught a lot of good fish, even this pretty guy right here. But thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you guys want to see down below, and I'll catch you all in the next video.